like scary movies? Uh huh. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. You have to have a favorite. What comes to mind? Um, Halloween. You know, the one with the guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters? Yeah. What's yours? Guess. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Is that the one where the guy had knives for fingers? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Freddy, that's right. I like that movie. It was scary. Well, well the first one was, but the rest sucked. So, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> Why, you want to ask me out on a date? Maybe. Do you have a boyfriend? Mm, no. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. What did you say? I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. What do you think I said? Um, this actually sounds so fun. My favorite candy bar, the Aloha Mini Peanut Butter Cup Bars. I've done some food makeup in my day, but I've never turned myself into a bar before. Should be an interesting process. I can't just turn myself into my favorite candy bar without telling you why it's my favorite candy bar. First and foremost, these bad boys have six grams of protein in them and only two grams of sugar. Who doesn't love guilt-free candy? Because they're good for you. A lot of protein bars I don't like because the texture's like, it's just not good. But these bad boys, the texture, phenomenal. They also have chocolate chip cookie dough, peanut butter chocolate chip, and coconut chocolate almond. I even put a bite out of it. I added some foil to make it look like it's unwrapping. Now we cover in latex. I feel like that looks pretty similar. I'm sketching out the design to start. You guys are not ready for this? Tell me if these don't look the same. Wait. Make sure to go check out the Aloha Mini Protein Bars. The perfect thing for giving or receiving on Halloween. And the perfect Halloween candy to eat a little healthier. They're available at Aloha.com, Thrive Market, and Vitacost, so go check them out. 1-1, what's your emergency? I have knife hands. Excuse me? I looked down and my hands were knives. Your hands are knives? Yeah. Can you put the knives down? No, they're my hands. All right, uh, where are you? I don't want knife hands. I can't pet my cat. I can't high five anything. It's okay, sir. Let's work this out. What am I going to do? Be a chef? Just chop, chop, chop my whole life. Nothing but chopping. No, uh, chop that. How did you call 911? I called on my phone. Uh -huh. And uh, how did you dial the number? With my fingers. Okay. Where are your fingers? On my hands. Oh, God, they're back. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, look at them. I love these hands. What's your name? Is it Sharon? No. Oh, Sharon, you're an angel. I am not. Mm, that's what an angel would say. Thank you, Sharon. You're welcome. This acid is really messing with me. Oh, boy, now my feet are nice. Step number one, admit I have an addiction. Okay, check. I, too, have an addiction to Starbucks cold brews. It's 7 in the morning. We're doing some Tiffany makeup. Now, I've been told I look like Tiffany. I don't know if that's true or not. So I have this wig. She's knotted. I gave this one a little, a little chop. Give myself over to a higher power. I also need to cover up my tattoo. Ooh, that is, that's a cool look. I have this lacy fabric. I mean, it's not bad. I think we're just gonna go with it. I'm doing this a little different than I normally would, so I look crazy. I literally look like this filter. This is kind of a look. Maybe I do look like her. Hopefully those look like dimples. Mm. Boop. Just imagine this with the contacts. I have the finished Tiffany look. Let's do this. But I want you to know, I'm in recovery now. In the lab late one night, when my eyes beheld an eerie sight, for my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east To 
the marsh, a bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abode to get a jolt from my electrode. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The mask that was chosen for Michael was actually just a William Shatner Captain Kirk mask that was available around that time, but painted white with the eye holes cut out a little bit. Although before they actually decided on that mask, they also considered a Weary Willy clown mask that was also painted white. They later decided on the latter because the Shatner mask had the blank expression that they were looking for for the character. And a fun little bonus to this fact, both masks were bought for less than $2 at local drugstores. Another interesting fact about the mask would be that during the production of Halloween 2, they only had the one mask prop left. And since they were likely going to go through a few of them, they had to find a way to get more, and because the Shatner mask by itself wasn't exactly popping around the scene these days, they couldn't just go out and buy them. Luckily for the crew, they found a phone number for the company who produced the masks inside the one mask they had left. They gave them a call, and the company actually agreed to provide them with an entire box full of Shatner masks, so long as they were credited in the movie. 